Well, welcome to this OT302 exam preparation tutorial. Just a quick reminder that of course there is an exam coming up uh, on the 10th of November. Uh, you'll have a two hour exam. And uh, just to also remind you that in that exam, uh, students will be required to have studied all of the material covered in the unit, uh, with the exception of material that relates to the theological themes of the books of Daniel, Ruth and Lamentation. And this of course is due to the fact that those uh, books were already covered in the context of assignments one and two. So more specifically, uh, looking at the exam itself, it's structured in the following ways. There, there's three sections to it. Section A is comprised of 17 short questions and you're expected to answer each one of these. Uh, the answers to these questions in some cases may just be one word, sometimes it might be uh, three or four words, sometimes it might be just a very short sentence, but uh, they're only designed to be short answer questions. And uh, if you've done your uh, revision well, I don't think you should have a great deal of difficulty uh, with answering that section. The next part, section B, is also compulsory. It contains four longer questions. And uh, these questions require you to, to write a little more, uh, generally around about two thirds of a page of handwriting, and there'll be lined paper on the exam paper for you just to write your answer straight onto the exam paper. Uh, of course, uh, at every point, what you're seeking to do is to convey to me as much uh, information as you can to demonstrate just how much you have understood of the material that you've been studying. Section C then, uh, gives you the option of choosing one out of three elective essay questions. So uh, you'll have a look at the three essay questions presented. You'll decide which one you feel that you know the most about. And then I would encourage you to go for your life and uh, convince me about how much you know and understand about that particular essay question topic. Uh, students will uh, have access to an unmarked standard Bible for all of those who are doing their exam here on campus. Uh, we will have Bibles available to you, an NIV Bible, uh, but it will be unmarked. Uh, in other words, and this is particularly for our distance students, uh, you can't use a study Bible or a Bible that has got cross references in it. Um, it's just a straight Bible uh, with the text of the scriptures. And uh, so please make sure that you have that ready uh, before you actually come to your exam. Uh, you should also note that all of the topics uh, in the unit are subject to assessment but no topic will be assessed twice and of course that's why we don't include material there uh, concerning Daniel, Ruth and Lamentations, at least the theological themes connected to those books. Uh, but the examination may include any but not necessarily all of the syllabus topics. So to give you a bit of a heads up as to what the uh, exam paper will look like when you receive it, um, this is the front cover of it and you'll notice that it provides for uh, 10 minutes of perusal time there for you and uh, so I trust that that uh, 10 minutes of perusal uh, will be a helpful thing for you and then of course you've got two hours of writing after that. Uh, the exam will be marked out of 100 but in total it will, will be worth 60% of the overall semester's mark and of course uh, you see set out there for you the three sections that will be contained in the exam. Section C, uh, you'll notice, is to be answered on the provided paper. And if you are doing this exam at distance, please make sure that you bring some uh, lined paper and uh, have that ready so that you can actually start writing on that when you get The next thing to question. draw your attention to is uh, just some information about revision techniques. I would suggest to you that you revise the overview and introductory videos for each module. Now, attached to each module of study, uh, there's been some very good uh, animated introductory videos, and uh, I think that you'll find those particularly helpful in refreshing your memory about the overall content and flow of each of the books. Also, uh, make sure that you read back over the module learning guide. And in addition to that, I would suggest that you work through the PowerPoints because the PowerPoints provide a very succinct summary of the major material that has been covered. I usually find that a, a helpful thing along the way is for me to be making a list of key people and places as I'm doing my revision. 
uh, make even a list of some of the key dates and events. Of course, we're not looking for you to, under to remember all of the, the dates, but some of the key dates concerning the periods of the exile and what have you uh, are all fairly important and can be very helpful. Then uh, note the background issues for each of the books studied. Uh, sometimes we talk about issues of genre. Uh, we talk about issues of authorship, uh, where there are perhaps some questions as to the authorship of a book, uh, who the book was actually written for and so on. And then you would also note the major divisions and the outline of each book. Very often throughout our modules, we've actually provided a brief outline of a book that is giving the major headings and the, the chapter and verse divisions associated with each of those headings. And so you want to make sure that you've got a fairly good idea of how to actually write an outline uh, for a book. Then also it's helpful to make a dot point summary of each book studied uh, and keep that fairly succinct but try to make sure that you've got it fairly clearly fixed in your mind, the overall flow of each of the books. And then can I suggest that you work back through the quick quizzes associated with most modules. Uh, these are a handy little tool, they're online there. Uh, you may have done them once, but go back over them again, just as a refresher to make sure that you've uh, got your mind around all of the material. Now look, when you're doing your revision, uh, set yourself a, a revision timetable. Uh, to cover all the material. Uh, you want to make sure that you don't leave it all to the last minute, uh, to the night before, please don't do that. Uh, but just set yourself up for at least two or, two or three weeks out from the exam to start uh, working through a revision timetable so that you'll cover all of the material. And while you're doing your revision, take some small breaks, five to 10 minutes, perhaps every hour, get up, go for a walk, have something to drink, have something to eat, and give you, yourself the opportunity to stretch your body and stretch your brain before you get back into it. Again, just an important note um, about the three sections. 17 questions in section A and you're expected to answer all of those. Uh, four longer questions in section B which you're expected to answer all of those and section C which will be just one longer essay. Now in section C I would suggest that I'd be looking for you to have written, handwritten, probably something in the order of three pages, uh, A4 pages of writing to answer that question adequately. So your Old Testament, uh, just a quick reminder again, uh, goes for two hours, additional 10% uh, of the, of um, sorry, additional 10 minutes rather for perusal at the start. Make sure for those who are doing your exam here on campus that you arrive 20 or 30 minutes before the start of the exam. Uh, if you're doing it at distance and you've made arrangements with a supervisor, uh, make sure that you get there early. Make sure that you have a pen that works and one spare just in case because you can be sure if you only bring one pen, it'll probably run out. So make sure that you, uh, you have a spare one there. Also time management. Uh, during your perusal time, uh, look at the weighting of all of the marks allocated for each question. Uh, determine how much time you should spend on each question. And to assist you, uh, your exam supervisor should probably let you know uh, when you should be finishing one section of the paper and moving on to another. So for example, uh, in section A, uh, the 17 questions, I wouldn't be spending more than 35 minutes on that. Um, if I hadn't quite finished it, and 35 minutes came up, I would then move straight on to section B and I'll get back to section A if I've got time. Section B with the four questions, uh, I would be suggesting that you spend uh, around about 50 minutes uh, on all of those questions. I've put there approximately 10 minutes per question. Actually, it should be a little bit longer than that. Um, so probably at least 12 or 13 minutes on each question. And then section C, uh, you would spend about 35 minutes to answer just one of those questions. Now, of course, they're just suggested times. Uh, you may work, like to, uh, to alter that a little bit. But one of the key things is that you keep yourself moving all the way through so that you don't suddenly find that you've run out of time and you haven't even got to answer section C. So I do trust and pray that it will be a, a good experience for you doing your exam 